Hello, and welcome back for part 10 of this series on creating games using Construct 2. Uh, we've been working on a platform game where we're jumping around, we're dodging bullets, we're catching gold, increasing our score, and in part 9, we added a start screen. So here in part 10, as you can see on the title of this PowerPoint, we're going to work on adding a background to make our game a little more aesthetically pleasing. So let's, let me switch over to our game, and let's start with the with the start screen. So here we've got this blank white uh, background and I'm just gonna change this to a color. Um, so to get started we want to double click just like we would to add a sprite or any kind of object and if I look next to the text object there's a tiled background. So I'm just gonna call it uh, let's see main background nothing special and insert and now I can click to put it on my screen and I'm going to resize this to match my the size of the the size of the window size and the layout size. So it's 1708 by 960. And then I'm going to choose a lightish blue, maybe a little lighter and fill that there. All right. And again, you could load in any kind of images here, load an image from a file. You could load them in um, from any kind of file or like JPEG, PNG, something so you could create your own if you wanted to, just like you can with sprites. Uh, but I'm going to keep it pretty simple and just use a solid color. So I'll X that out. And now we've got this on our screen. So I'm going to take this and resize it again to that same size, 1708 by 960, so it fits our screen. And then the position uh, uh, is going to be 00, zero which is going to be that origin in the top left. So now you can see it fits perfectly on our screen, but now it's covering our play button and our title text. So to fix this I can right click and then under Z order I can send to bottom of layer. So now that I've got it on the bottom of the layer everything else is on top. So to do this for our game so we have kind of a consistent theme we want to have it have the same background color at least that we do for the start screen. So let's go over to our game and since we've already created this background it's in our objects object types over here. So I can just drag it in and now I have that same thing and I'll instead of trying to make it fit perfectly I'm going to set its position to 0, zero again puts it in that top left corner and makes it fit perfectly and again I'll just right click and say Z order send to bottom of layer and now we see um, now we see it in our page. So let's start with the start layout. Let's run the game should look a little bit different, a little bit better. So we'll play, and now we've got that background so, so that it's not just, just plain white, which gets kind of boring after a while. All right, so there we go. Uh, and that is a pretty short video on adding a, um, a background. So stay tuned for the coming videos.